When the stars begin to fall right out of the sky And the seas will rise alone I had one thing in mind This song is stuck in my head Alright Hi everyone, back again with another reaction video And this one is for Family Man Season 1, Episode 6 Yes, and this episode is called Dance of Death Don't know what that means I'm guessing it's going to carry on a lot from the guy Killing that other dude in the hospital, the terrorist guy. Uh, I'm curious where that's going to go. And also, our main character's not around. He's at another place. So that's a whole thing, too. Um, I don't know if he'll come back, or he's only there for a short time. And I don't know. So I'm curious to see, you know, what's going to happen next. And our main character being in this other location, things going to go amiss there. And also, the scooter bomber guy is there, too. There's a whole lot of stuff going on, so that's good. Let's see where these threads go from here. Because I feel like that's what that last episode did. It just kind of laid out a lot of things, and it's just like, okay, what the hell's going to happen with all this, you know? So let's get into it and see what happens. Oh, so it seems that they're going to sort something out to get him out, right? Wait, that's What's him, isn't it? Oh, so this is in the past. Maybe I missed a thing and it said something months ago. Oh, shit, that's him, isn't it? Way better. Yeah, that's him. Holy crap. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, shit, so he knows about, like, chemical warfare. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Oh, she's in a bind now, isn't she? She's a bit caught up. Because she probably knows that guy's dead now, too, and she's probably like, wait, did he do that? So, uh, how's your uh, husband? My who? Your, uh. Mm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Telling me that I didn't keep in touch. Uh oh, he's put himself in an awkward situation. I'm not telling you shit. Of course. Oh, okay. Mission here, Yanni. I'll get back to you. Thank you. Okay. Can we have lunch together? Not a chance. Ha! That was a quick answer. So she was waiting for him to ask that. You mean 11 was good? Mm, she's starting to think, oh crap, what have I done? Or what has he done as well? Ah. Okay, that's probably a good thing. Unless they don't get intercepted at the transport, that's what could be happening right now. When he gets taken to jail, he gets freed by them. Okay, I'll be back. Like I said, that lady character hasn't been in much in the plot yet. The one that just got recruited, like put into this task force. She's barely done much at all. She's just kind of been just in the background for the most part. But the last time I remember she was like a part of an episode was like when she was somewhat talking about the morals of like just spying on that guy. Aside from that, I, she's barely been doing anything really. She's barely had any uh, spotlight. Stuff. Maybe she'll get more of a thing later on. Let's see. Paper? Huh. Let's go. Mm, could be a trap, perhaps. Must have gotten the slip. Go oh, one step ahead again, probably. Yes, yes, yes. Ta. Whoa! Look how many levels that is. That's insane. I think I've been to a shopping center like that, but yeah, I think in Brisbane, I've been something like that. But yeah, I don't go to that many like that. <laughs> Trust me, I know my shit. Tum ye language <laughs> <laughs> He's jamming with more music. That's hilarious. Hello? Yeah, we go shoot around. Kya ho raha hai? Ka, 
Little brat. Oh my god, another. He's already learned all the other instruments. Yeah, he's a master. <laughs> Not a fan of shopping. Oh, my. I ain't that much either, honestly. I just get what I need and get out. What the? You got a MacBook? Are you seriously kidding me? Pa! Mama, huh. I brand new Apple here! Apple? Huh. Hello? Hello? He's been just left. Ha! <laughs> something catches eye. Or oh, something comes to his mind, the way he just kind of like stopped like that. Ah, it did. Ooh. You might be connecting some dots here. Mmm. I think they underestimated him. Oh. Oh no. I wonder. Different name. Or an alias or whatever you want to call it. Oh, oh, right. So that's not like a loading bar. It actually shows, like, the higher it goes, the higher it's probably a match. Oh, shit. That's why it was getting more tense. That's kind of cool how that works. Musa, same dude. Oh. Mm. Yeah, you definitely need that guy with you right now. Yeah, if he's wrong. Yeah, that's true. They're not, they're not like doing anything too irrational. Oh, she might confess to something. I don't know if she'll confess the whole truth, but hey. Oh no, that's a. last access card. Oh no. Well, that's a bit of a doozy. Oh man, here we go. This is the pickup crew for him, right? Oh. Let's see what happens. Teach daddy how to fuck. Oi, wait a minute, is this going to be another one now? Because it's been since the shot was in the window like that. That is a cool shot, by the way, how the car, it was mounted on, I guess maybe it was sort of like mounted on the car. And then it stepped off, that's really cool. Oh, he's part of it too, is he? Two. Clean. Now they're gonna check the security out. Huh. Ooh. I mean, just talking about that um, agent lady, I wonder if she's gonna get into trouble here a bit. Apologies that I don't remember a lot of the names. I'm, oh, I'm awful with names, I gotta say. So just heads up for that. <laughs> this is definitely the thing I gotta start trading myself to learn names more. Can you get me a coffee too, please? I knew you would ask. Lario. Uh oh, uh oh, oh no, oh, don't tell me she just gets killed like that. He's like a Terminator, what are you waiting for man, just shoot her. Oh, he wants to wait. He's going to get capped off first, probably right. I'm liking how this is. Unless he's part of it. Man, I like how they do these wonders, how they kind of go from one character to the other. It's really cool. Makes it flow nicely and keeps it, like, um, it, it gives it a sense of variety. Not just sticking to one character. It kind of goes from this one to this one. And it flows better with, like, what's going on in the story. It's really well done. I don't know where they would have done cuts in this, because it's it's been quite good how it's been executed like i can't really notice where they would have snuck a cut in oh oh 
Something's probably going down out there. Opens the door. Bam. No. Oh, shit. Ooh. Good moves, dude. Ooh, I'm liking this. That is cool. And the camera actually stayed in here and then they came back in. That was cool. And like the gap through the door. That was a neat. That's probably where they could have cut in, actually. But that was really nicely done. Oh, damn. I think they did a cut there. They did a little sneaky cut here, you watch. And it was stabbing him. Man, I think there might have been a cut there. It's very sneaky, but it kind of the way his elbow goes up, I think there might have been something there. Unless I'm overthinking it, but I think there might have been a cut there. Oh, man. And no wonder that there's a cut there, because they had to add all that stuff. Fair enough. Because he obviously didn't actually stab the guy to death. I don't think you could afford a stuntman to do that. <laughs> the music once again as i said the time when i notice the music is when these one takes are done because it really adds to the one takes so once again i'm liking <coughs> the music in these parts it really adds a certain gets you pumped i'm honestly not sure what's going to happen here i feel like they might actually get him Ooh. Dang, the way they're doing this, this is so clean. Just doo -doo 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 -doo. These guys are pretty high up there, I think. Probably the higher dudes that they call. I'll cut it. Wow, there he is. Oh, oh here we go. Oh, wow. Ooh. I'm actually quite worried for her because I think she's going to get messed up. Ooh. Yeah, you, you're a bit outnumbered too, lady. Ooh, I'm liking how this is done. This is awesome. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, someone got someone. Wow, look at him go. <laughs> okay, so they're, they're getting hit from both sides. That's good, I guess. They're kind of boxed in. <laughs> no, maybe they're not. Never mind. Oh, they're here. That's good. I was wondering who was the one shooting at him. Oh, he's done, I think. Man, the choreography of this is really good. Like, the staging of the actors. Oh, goodness. Whoops. Yeah, so as I was saying, the choreography is really impressive here in regards to, like, where the camera's placed, where the actors are. And, and when it moves, the camera moves. It's it's actually really impressive what they're doing here. It's not just a one take. It's the way it's being um, just been planned out. You can see that this has been quite meticulously planned, it looks. So that's really just interesting how they're putting this together. So I'm loving this right now. This is really cool. All right, let's keep it going. It looks like this is going to be a recurring thing throughout this show. So it's like these particular moments um, are going to be like set pieces of like tension and so I imagine throughout the show there's gonna <coughs> these are gonna be scattered with the the big main fights or whatever you want to call them or the main conflicts of the show they're done in one is which I think is a really cool choice honestly I think it works quite well oh he got done in this guy's a good shot I must say he usually seems to be the guy that's on the ball with this. I think he's just got really good accuracy. That's what's kind of keeping him alive. He's just really good at that. Ooh. I think they got away. You're kidding. Now it's going outside like this? Wow. <laughs> Indeed. Right under your noses too. It's done really, um, really clean. Oh! Oh no! Oh, really? Wait, what? Oh, okay. Are you kidding? Yeah, he's done. He got like... Oh, man. I think we lost him. Oh, that was so sudden. Damn, man. That's really unfortunate. Just like that, huh? Okay, I was not expecting that. 
man, she must be really kicking herself right now. Yo, so he's still here. The man in theater. Huh? I don't, I don't trust this guy at all anymore. <laughs> No! Oh man, this guy's a, a nut. Oh man. Wow. This music shift. What the hell happened there? Wait, what? Okay, I don't catch on to what exactly happened at the end there. That's kind of annoying. I don't know what happened there. Someone got killed. I, was it one of the um, terrorist dudes? The ISIS guys? I don't know. Damn. Someone can explain that to me because I don't kind of get what happened right at the end there. But that's messed up. He killed her. What the hell? And also that guy got killed. Oh man, he was a cool dude, man. And I was just saying, you know, he's like really on his game. You know, he's good. But hey, no one's perfect, huh? He got fucking destroyed by that guy with that machine gun. Oh, man. What a damn shame, man. Wow. That was an episode, I must say. I don't know if it's as good as that episode before with the ones where they got those other guys. The ones that just had the, uh, what was it, the meat and the beef. Uh, they had beef with those guys. <laughs> Sorry, that was just a dumb joke. But, um... Okay, I don't know if it's as good as that episode, but it's up there, I must say, because that, that whole scene was really well done, really well executed, so I must give it that. But uh, anyway, I'm going to do my list and we'll see, because I think this is still a really good episode. And it flew by, that 40 minutes went fast. How long was that one take? Are you kidding me? 24 minutes to about, I think, 35 minutes, so that was a 10 minute long long take that's pretty impressive man holy crap especially for a tv show like all right there was 1917 now granted i know that movie is not one whole long take it's got cuts and all this and this show has it too there's definitely parts i can tell they'll probably put a cut in there it's totally fine it's more the intent that matters it's the the yeah it's the intent it's like what matters is it's creating immersion it's creating tension it's creating like a sense of you know, you kind of feel like you're there with the characters and it really adds a different dynamic to the scene, especially action scenes and, and um, things like that. It really adds something quite interesting to it. Um, without it, it's it does lose something. I, I don't know if every action scene has to be done on a one take. I'm not saying that, but it really does add something to certain scenes when you do it, that's for sure. Um, like, for example, there is some... You know what, I'm going to talk about that in a second. I'm going to do my list and then I'll be back. So, talk in a second. Okay, so I, uh, I'm i back. I take that back, what I just said before, about the number of things. <laughs> Let's get into it. This is pretty insane. Alright, so, <clears throat> the first thing I liked was um, camera movements. So the camera movements in this episode, because of this one take, it's really well done. It really flows with the scene well. It adds to the tension. It really just... It's its great, honestly. So, yes, great camera movements. Uh, number two, the directing. I think the directing for this episode was really solid, particularly for that long take scene. Um, next thing, I'm kind of just going to smash through it because there's quite a few things in regards to filmmaking I really like. So, and they're kind of all intertwined, but I still wanted to give them these points. Uh, number three, long take, of course. Um, yeah, really... It was honestly really impressive how that this one was done. It's, like, what was it? Uh, nearly 11 minutes long or something like that. Um, next thing, number four, tracking shot. So the way they, and as I said, the way they choose which characters to track is really cool. I really like how they kind of flow from character to character to give it some variety and also to add to the story. It's really excellent how they do that. Um, number five, choreography. Actually, I'm going to do these two next two things. So number five and six, so number five is choreography, and number six is staging. I had to give both, because it's really well done how they 
you know, the characters are in a certain place and then the staging of the scene and just, and then also the camera where it's moving and what it's doing. It's so well, like planned, you can tell, and it's really well done. And it really, as I said, adds that tension, adds that immersion into the scene. So I love it. It's really well done. Um, next thing, number six, it, uh, sorry, number seven is the acting. So the acting was still really solid in this episode. And it's really cool too, because you got to keep in mind too, with, with one takes, you got to kind of keep that up. You can't just go, oh, I stuffed up. Let's cut. Let's do it again. No, <laughs> with a long take, you got to be in the zone, right? You got to be there, you know? So acting, you can't fuck it up when you're doing long takes, you know? So yeah, unless you want it to be bad, <laughs> But yeah, so the acting was really solid. Uh, number eight, the music. As I said, the music shines when the one takes are playing because it adds to that tension. It adds to a certain momentum of the scene. So I really love when the music's used with the one takes. It, particularly, I notice it then. Uh, number nine, <coughs> uh, story. Uh, the story is um, still really good in this episode. And just the way, you know, things are revealed and the things that happen it's, yeah, really great. This this script is really solid. Honestly, this is the best of both worlds. Good filmmaking and good story. Like, that to me is perfection, basically, right there. If you do that well, then you've, you're, you're, like, off to the races. That's the best thing you can do with... I think that's top tier, you know, filmmaking. If you can do both really well, to me, that's... That's, that's, that's awesome, you know? Because um, a lot of movies do filmmaking well there's some movies that do the filmmaking really well but then the story you know it's fine but then some movies the story's really good and it's like wow this would have you know this is a great novel but as a film you know you could have done so much more in regards to the technical stuff and just added that extra level of emotion through the language of film you know and that's what this is you know or tv shows you know is like the way you do it is you do both and it just, it adds on top of it. It kind of multiplies and it really does make it a, a more memorable and impactful experience, I think. At least to me, it does. Uh, all right, so where am, I, where am I? Number 10, characters. Um, man, that guy, what was his name, Musa? Him just getting killed like that. What the hell? Oh, that really hit me. And leading that to number 11, emotional impact. That That was, I was not expecting that at all. And yeah, it struck me quite a bit. I was like, what the hell? Like, you know, so that was, and also that nurse lady getting killed too, I think by that guy, seeing the blood on the knife at the end of it, I was like, oh my God. So yeah, that's a twisted individual, I must say. Anyway, let's keep going. So number 12. Um, <coughs> yes, number 12, uh, brutal and shocking moments. This kind of adds to the thing I was kind of just saying. But yeah, this episode shows some, you know, that guy getting stabbed to death in that bathroom. And then also, you know, the just the innocent civilians getting killed. Like, it really kind of strikes you. So, um, yeah, it really kind of, it doesn't pull back. I, I do appreciate that with the show. It doesn't pull back. It really just shows it for what it is. You know what I mean? So I appreciate that. Uh, number 13, the tension. The, the tension was very evident, you know, because of the one takes, but also just, what was going on in the scene, the story, the way it was all built up. Yeah, excellently done. So yeah, number 13, tension, definitely. Uh, number 14, whoops. Uh, number 14, this is an interesting one. There's a few things in this episode that I don't think I had these points for other you know episodes. This one stands out. It kind of has different qualities, and I think this is one of them. Number 14, step sets up stakes. With Musa getting killed, just like that, it really changes the dynamic of the show. It makes me go, fuck, you know, anyone can get killed. You know what I mean? Like that lady, the next episode could just poof, like that. So it really adds another whole layer of tension, you know, and a whole different level. So I really love that, that it sounds messed up, but I really appreciate that they did that because it really puts the show on a whole nother level now. It's like, man, I was not expecting that at all. So that really sets up the stakes in a different level, I feel. Uh, number 15, unpredictable. So that's another thing. I think I've given that a couple times for the show, maybe once or twice. Uh, but anyway, unpredictable as well. So because of that, as I said, once again, it sets up those stakes. So I really appreciate that as well. Uh, number seven, uh, 16, action scene. So just that overall action scene was really impressive. 
you know, as I said, all the technical aspects, but also the emotion it brings across, the story of how it's done. Excellent. So I really love that action scene. Uh, number 17, the ending. <coughs> Although I didn't get <laughs> that guy that came out of the car. Please explain that to me. But aside from that, the way this episode just kind of just, poof, the way it ends very suddenly like that, I think it was an excellent choice to end it at that point. Um, but yeah, so I thought the ending was really great. And number 18, once again, intrigued to see more. So, <laughs> man, I still think I got that cold a bit still. It's really, it's really hanging on this cough I've got. It's quite annoying. But anyway, um, probably my throat's just dry, honestly. I've been talking for a good minute, right? Okay. <laughs> so, yes, number 18, intrigued to see more. So, yeah, this was, this is a really good show, man. And look at that. This episode's the best. I would said to you before I uh, did this list, I was like, oh, you know, I don't know if it was quite as good as that other episode. But, man, no, no, I guess I was wrong. When I went through it, I was like, yep, yeah, no, it's got that, it's got that. Yeah, this, this, yep, this is the best episode. And it, it yeah, it deserves it, honestly. It's, it's really well done. And it really, as I said, there's different points here in this one. Like, I don't remember putting many points to like unpredictable like I think I've said that once or twice in other episodes but that was something also sets up stakes like that was a one I don't think I've ever given for this show and that was an interesting one to be like okay that was not something and I think emotional impact I don't think I've given that for an episode yet but this one totally deserves it the way that struck me when Musa got killed yeah I had to give it for that and also that lady too just getting killed like that as well the nurse so yeah Top-notch stuff, man. This was really good. So, uh, yeah, once again, thank you for recommending me this show. This is this is a top-notch series, I must say. So, uh, thanks once again. And, uh, yeah, if you enjoyed watching this video, consider hitting the subscribe button and liking the video if you haven't already. And, uh, yeah, stay tuned for the next video, eh? Catch you, folks, in the next one. Bye-bye.